In this video I'm going to briefly go over how we use thirds. So a third is an exact way of expressing the square root of a number. So for example, let's take a simple third, the square root of 2. The square root of 2 expressed in this way is exact. But if we type the square root of 2 into our calculator, we get an answer of 1.41. So why is this method of writing better than writing this in a question? Because we can simply test by taking 1.41 and squaring it. We get an answer of 1.9881. And this clearly isn't 2. That's not right. So when we're dealing with a question where we have to square root a number which doesn't equal a whole number, we should always use this notation, writing it as a third. So a few rules of thirds. If we have the square root of 2 times the square root of 3, we will get the square root of them two numbers times together. So 2 times 3 is 6. We'll get the square root of 6. If we take root 2 and we divide it by root 3, what happens is we do what we did with times for the top half of a fraction. So we do root 2 times root 3, which gives us root 6. And then because we're dividing by root 3, we take the number inside the square root, which is 3, and put it on the bottom of the fraction. So the answer is root 6 over 3. As another example of that, say we had root 7 divided by root 5. 7 times 5 is 35, so the top of the fraction will get root 35. And we are dividing by root 5, so the number is 5, so on the bottom we get 5. Okay, let's take the number 50. Now this is a large number which can be broken up into smaller parts. If we have the square root of 50, we can actually simplify this down to something smaller and more manageable. So, for example, 50 can be broken up into 2 times 25. Sorry about the handwriting there. 2 times 25. Now, 25 can be square rooted, as we know, to equal 5. So, the root of 50 is the same as writing the root of 2 times 25, because 2 times 25 is 50, right? Now, 25 can be square rooted. So what we do is we square root it, which equals 5, because it's in the square root sign. We square root that and take the answer outside of the third. So what we end up is 5 times the square root, and what have we got left? 2, which can't be simplified. So this is root 50 simplified. They are equal to each other. Now let's take a look at a quick simple question using the laws we've just learned. So the question is what is root 8 divided by root 2? Okay, we can simplify 8 down. 8 is the same as saying the square root of 4 times 2 because 4 times 2 equals 8. Now 4 can be broken down. 4 is the same as the well, 4, the square root of 4, is 2, because 2 times 2 is 4. So we square root it and take the number outside of the third. So what we get is 2, lots of the root of 2, 2 times root 2. And on the bottom of the fraction we have root 2. Now that's not done yet, because we can see that root 2 and root 2 are on the top and bottom of a fraction. And anything times by itself, or anything divided by itself, sorry, equals 1. So that is the so these can cancel out. So we're left with 2 divided by 1, which equals 2. And that's the question done. Okay, let's look at a more tricky problem. Say we had root 75 divided by root 18. Okay, we can break up 75 into saying that it's the square root of 3 times 25. And on the bottom we can break up 18 into saying that's the root of 2 times 9. Now we know that 25 can be square rooted to make 5, so we can take 5 out of that, so we can get the answer 5 
root 3. And on the bottom, we can square root 9 into 3 and take 3 out of that and get 3 lots of the square root of 2. Okay, now at GCSE level, this would be fine to leave as your answer. However, using a rule that I taught you earlier, we can actually simplify this even further. And this is how you would get your A star answer. So, I told you earlier that the square root of 3 divided by the square root of 2, or the square root of anything divided by the square root of anything else, equals to them times together, so the root of 6, divided by the number which you divided by inside the square root, which in this case is 2. And that's what we have there, here. So this expression here is the same as saying 5 divided by 3 times by the square root of 3 divided by the square root of 2. And now I've just told you that this is the same as saying root 6 over 2. So we can actually times this by this instead. So we can get 5 lots of root 6 as the top and at the bottom is 3 times 2. So 3 here. 2 here, the 5 here, and the root 6 here. So the answer you get is 5 lots of root 6, which is as simple as you can get, and the bottom is 3 times 2, which is 6. And this is the answer completely simplified, and that is an A star answer.